We finished the time phase budget in early start position. Now we will do the same and we calculate the cumulative budget. We start with the Gantt chart we created at the end of the previous session. Here we calculate the cumulative budget and then we put them in a graph together with the time phase budget. Here you see the same Gantt chart that we obtained at the end of the previous session. We have the time phase budget. Now we have to calculate the cumulative budget. How do we get the cumulative budget? Well, we take the cost in period two and add it to all the costs that we have until then. So for period one, it's very simple. It's 10 plus nothing the previous period. We don't have anything. So it's 10. For period two, it's 10 plus the cumulative cost of period one will give us 20 and so on. So for period three, it will be 15 plus 20 equals 35. And here we have all the results. So in period four, it's 15 plus 35, which is 50. In period five, it's five plus 50 is 55. And we see at the end in period 10, the end cost of the project is 80, which is also what we call the budget at completion. Whatever the start position is, early start or late start position, the total project cost, the budget, at completion will always be the same. In the graph, it looks like this. Typically, the cumulative budget is called the S-curve, but in this case, we have to have some fantasy. On the other hand, when we have typical curves for projects, they will typically look like an S-curve. So, when we do other exercises, the relationship between the form of the graph and the S form will be probably a lot better. But it depends. It's just a name that people gave because of the general appearance of the cumulative budget curve. Both information in the same graph. So we find the time phase budget and the cumulative budget or the S. I'll just put S here, not S curve. The blue is the S curve and the orange is the time phase budget. Next step, get us the late start position of the project, create the same graphs, and then finally we will find the planned start or the start and finish dates that we are going to use in our project. See you in the next session. Great job and you're going at a nice pace. Thank you.